This is our font. It has been part of the cathedral furnishings since 1870, when it was given as a memorial to Bishop David Anderson. Now, the font is very, very deep. It's solid Italian marble. It takes three men to move this beast. Look how deep it is. The dean really has to hang on to babies when we baptize, because otherwise the poor little things might fall in and drown, and we don't want that to happen. The font is a very important part of an Anglican church. It is where we are baptized. We do infant baptism, which means that that's our way of grafting people into the body of Christ. This is where we become members of the church. Now, a former dean wanted to move the font from where it had been moved to right under the great west window behind me. It had originally stood under the baptism window, which is logical. But when we had to put in an elevator, we had to move the font. It got moved to the foot of the great west window, and the former dean wanted to move it into the middle of the narthex so that when people came in either door of the church, they would see the font, which was their entry card into the body of Christ. This is how they became members of the church. However, the fire marshal said no, that would impede egress which I think means get in the way of people getting out. So the font was moved here. This is as far forward as we can get it. Now behind the font, you will notice a great tall candle. That's called a Paschal candle. It is lit at the great Easter vigil, which is the Saturday night before Sunday morning of Easter. And it is lit through the great seven weeks of Eastertide. It is also used and lit during baptism, and at the celebration of life, a funeral, it is moved up to the altar and stands beside either the casket or the urn.